All right, movie fans, welcome to the latest episode of Movie Talk. I'm John Hansen, along with Steve Goodwin. And appropriately, after last night's pretty much most exciting night of baseball that I've ever seen, we're talking about a baseball movie, Moneyball, which uh, I liked a lot. It's about the 2002 A's. I didn't realize that it was just about that specific year. And the funny thing is uh, I was following that season pretty closely because the Twins uh, made the playoffs that year. Uh, really using anti-moneyball strategies of growing their players through their system and uh, using a lot of small ball and sacrifice bunts and stuff that I don't care for, but I'm a Twins fan. And they beat the A's. But uh, looking back, looking more closely at it, digging into it as Michael Lewis did in his book Moneyball, it really is a fascinating story the way the A's uh, rounded out their roster. They did have the three outstanding young pitchers that are conveniently not mentioned too much in this movie, but they uh, they lost three or two great offensive players in 01. And uh, the story is about how they uh, used uh, uh, cutting-edge statistical analysis to uh, find players to replace them and actually win one more game the next year. And it's a dry topic, a fascinating topic, but dry for a movie. And uh, I think they pulled it off. At some t- points, they tried a little too hard. One thing that I think uh, they almost did too much of is Billy Bean, played by Brad Pitt, is spitting the whole movie into a cup, as if to say, hey, folks, we're a baseball movie, yeah. even though there's not that many scenes on the field. And when they do show on the field scenes, it's kind of stylized. Well, it's not really intended to look uh, totally like a game situation. So this is all about... Um, in the bowels of the, the Oakland Stadium, Billy Bean and uh, his assistant, played by Jonah Hill, uh, are just two guys against the world, two underdogs. No one believes in what they're doing except them. And uh, in the end, it works. And uh, I can understand why some people would find it to be a little slow, but I was just engrossed by the whole story because I enjoy a good underdog story. And I thought uh, both Brad Pitt and Jonah Hill were really compelling characters. I, I mean, I agree. I thought, I thought uh, as far as baseball and the story, it being true, I really enjoyed that. And to lose... Isreen Howes and Damon and Giambi, and Giambi was the MVP of the American League that year. Um, I, I found it fascinating when he went to trade with Cleveland in the movie and then found out that people are listening to Jonah Hill, who's just the person that works there as his first job. Uh, he hired him to come to the A's or, or bought him to come to the A's. I thought that was very good. I thought the movie dragged a little, listening to the radio, watching – or. You know, Brad Pitt very rarely watches the games, or he always he would leave during the games. Uh, basically, his job was done well well uh, before the final products on the field as a general manager. Um, but I did think it was a good movie. I didn't think it was a great movie. I don't think I liked it as much as you did. But I will still say, you know, if you're a baseball lover, I would say go see it uh, because uh, you know if you love baseball, it is a true story. And uh, it wasn't Hollywooded enough for me. I mean, it was just the story. There wasn't, there wasn't this, uh, you know, Hollywood ending to it. It was just the story. And I thought they did a good job telling that story. Um, I think they could have found someone uh, a little more athletic to play Art Howe than Philip Seymour Hoffman. I thought he was, I thought a great actor like him was kind of wasted in that role. Uh, but as far as as far as Brad Pitt, he was very good in it, and Jonah Hill was my favorite part of the show because I thought, you know, how uh, in one scene he has to let a player go, and it was very awkward for him, and I thought he played that really well. Also, I think the guy that plays the Boston Red Sox owner was really good. Uh, that little part in there is is well done about how they offer to you know let him be the general manager of the you know the bigger market team and and so uh all in all i liked it i didn't love it mm-hmm. good afternoon ladies and gentlemen welcome to yankee stadium time for our picks for favorite baseball movies all right okay i'll go with uh, 61 since i'm from fargo as roger maris is and i uh, and my dad who's a big roger maris fan thought that uh, this movie 
uh, got it right. Barry Pepper did a great job as Roger Maris. They flipped him, flipped him around. He batted right, and they made it look like he was batting left. He had the backwards nine on, and um, Thomas Jane is Mickey Mantle. It captures the '61 season about how Maris was Maris's hair was falling out, and uh, about how he was a guy with uh, tremendous baseball skills and physical ability. Um, which is why he hit 61 home runs without in the pre-steroid era, but yet uh, he wasn't really cut out for the New York media pressure, uh, with the uh, the psychological pressure of the reporters getting on his case for not being Mickey Mantle and, and that type of thing. So uh, that's uh, a personal favorite of mine, definitely. Do you believe in that? Well, I believe in the small of a woman's back, the hanging curveball, high fiber, good scotch, and I believe in long, slow, deep, soft, wet kisses that last for three days. As far as, you know, I love baseball, being a baseball coach, I I think the one that captures uh, baseball uh, to the best of what I think it is or what I've seen, you know, is uh, my favorite baseball movie is Bull Durham, which is Kevin Costner and Susan Sarandon and Tim uh, Robbins in 1987. Uh, Ron Shelton did it, uh, directed it, and he also did White Man Can't Jump, which is another sports movie. So uh, if you haven't seen 61 or Bull Durham, they're very good movies, which I do not think Moneyball is in the category of those two movies. Mm -hmm. Let's wrap it up with our grades. We've talked a lot about the movie, so I'm just going to say three stars, uh, which is a see it, right? Or three buckets of popcorn, see it. I will go with three buckets of popcorn also see it, but it's right there on the edge of Rent It. So I, that's where I'm at on this one. But uh, like I said, it's it's good, uh, just not great. Okay, we gave it the same grade, but I think I liked it slightly more than you. Uh, but baseball fans should check it out. Uh, thank you, movie fans, for uh, joining us for the latest edition of Movie Talk. We'll see you next time.